Well, yeah. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> so I'm how long have you been doing what you're doing? I've been doing this for almost 11 years. So what made you get, you know, get into this? What made wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. I'm the one who's supposed oh, to be interviewing you. I apologize. No, I'll tell you. I, I worked in TV. I ended up homeless. Mm -hmm. I rebuilt my life. Mm -hmm. Three-bedroom house. The economy tanked. I lost everything again. And I started this just to give myself a reason to get up in the morning. Understood. And housing programs have been created, and now I can't stop. So, um, and, and I, I get to meet wonderful people like you. Cynthia Williams. Yeah. Well, Cynthia. Yes. We're here in Oakland. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, I didn't plan to be homeless. I mean, just things like life itself brought about a change. You went, I went through the drug thing. Roommates, and then they went paying their part, and I became homeless, and I started sleeping on the sidewalk or in abandoned cars behind buildings at a bus stop on a, on a crate, sleeping wherever I could, or sometimes be up for days and I'm sleeping, and then just like now you're hungry. So I'm like doing little medial tasks to be, make sure that I can get food, what have you the case may be. And then I, I, I came across some, some real friends that I, would, I can go clean their house. They pay me $40, $50 for doing that. I was able to wash my clothing. And then they died. But um, it, it's, it's not a good thing. But homelessness is not a crime. No, it's, it's not. not. A, it's not a crime. It, it happens to the best of us. Life itself presents so many different situations. And, you know, yeah. we just, a lot of people, a lot of us, we're just like one paycheck away from this. And they think that we're just, we're, we're not bad people. We just need help. He's the one to help us. How long have you been homeless? About maybe nine years. It's, it's way, way too long. You know, I'm just doing all I can do to, to, to keep myself above water. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so, I, I'm safe here. I feel I'm safe right here. Derek helps us out so much. He does so much. He goes above and beyond. Yeah. And I appreciate him. He's a beautiful person. Yeah. And I love him so much, Derek too, mayor. But yes, he does. Um, how do you survive? Well, I go out. Um, I get three twenty-eight a month. Okay, if I get from um, what do you call it, government GA? Right. Okay? Government assistance. Right. And so I go out, and then sometimes I go out and I help the elderly people, or somebody like somebody. Cynthia, can you wash my clothes for me? I pay you twenty dollars. Okay. Right. I wash them, fold them, whatever. Just do what they do, or panhandle. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Some days it's like worse than others, but I keep my head above water. You know, I, I have to have faith. I have to just believe in oneself. Yeah. And we have people that come through often and bring us food, clothing, and I appreciate that so much because they don't have to do that. Yeah. They take time out of their lives to, to help us. Well, you're very kind because you came up to introduce yourself to me. Oh, yeah, thank you. You know, I mean, uh, you he made says. my day. You, oh, you made beautiful, my day. beautiful. I, I, I love people. I love life. I live life to the fullest, being each and all I can be, each and every day, yeah. being all I can be. If I can help, I will. Sometimes I can't, but I'll, you know, I'll, any kind of way I can, I will. But you have the ups and downs and everything, you know. Some days you have people that want to be violent with you, whatever it can be, for no apparent reason. But I don't count on them people. But I see it so much, and it's so sad, you know. And then you got people stealing from homeless people. That's not good. That's well, not you can't. Good. You don't. You're not able to lock your door. That you, part. You know. I mean, I don't you even leave? know how you sleep at night. It's hard. It's it's very hard. It's like you you like one eye open. You know, and if you walk through the store down there, you can only imagine when you come back, oh my God, now they stole my sugar. Oh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm serious. Right, right. They took my dirty underwear? No, for real. Yeah. They take just anything, just not nail down, even that. Yeah. Still my bicycle. Oh, wow. Yeah, bicycles. It's just, it's a, and with the income that you have, you can't replace stuff. Right. What do I do with that? What do I yeah. do with that? This is what I can, you know, then you try to, you know, keep propane to be able to cook the food that you, that you do acquire. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Like now, I'm out of propane. So it's like, but I have some, I have some 
lunch meat and I have some ground beef, but how can I, I, I can't cook it unless I go to Derek's. Derek will do it for me. Yeah. But he helps us out and I appreciate him. Yeah. You're, so people know, you're in a sanctioned tent camp. Yes. Which is more secure, I have way grown better. children. I have three daughters that are grown. One lives down in, down like seminary. I have one lives in Stockton, one lives in Vegas. They're all grown on the own, they all work. They, they know where I am. They come here, they visit me. I have six grandchildren. Okay, I have two deceased for a living. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's, and I'm going to assume they're also struggling on their own. Oh, yeah, right. You know, one works for Wellfaro. I have what, my oldest daughter been on her same job since she was 19. She works uh, not, not child trans. Oh, my God. I can't even think of it. Anyway, she works down on 3rd and down that way. Oh, yeah. my God. Job Corps. You know, City Corps. Yeah. Well, anyway, she works on the, my My youngest one is as a medical assistant. She works in Vegas at a, a cancer research center. Oh wow! So I'm like so proud of her. She's like 24. My my oldest Good. is 39. And yes, I didn't say, Do they know where I'm at? Yes. Do they come and visit? Yes, often. They do. I keep in contact with them. Yes, I have Obama's cell phone, so yes, they can keep in contact with me. Yeah. And they love me. They come and visit, and I appreciate that. They you know they're not discriminating me like, oh mom, look how you living. They're not saying that. Yeah. They always wonder, am I right? You warm enough? What do you need? Yeah. Or they bring me. They bring so they me. help you all they can. Yes, and I appreciate that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Keep your money. It's okay. Yeah. You know, they, they have their own households to run, yeah. and I respect that. And I love them so much. Those are my girls. What would you want people to know about homeless people that they don't know? What would you want the public to know about homeless? People? There's not a crime. Homelessness is not a crime. It's not a crime, and it happens. It, it happens. Anyone, it can happen to in, anyone. You're one paycheck away. It's, yeah. And a lot of people think they're better than because they're, oh, you're homeless, are you? Oh, that doesn't make me beneath you right. at all. I love life, though. Yeah, you do. If you had three wishes, what would they be? My life back. My family. The third one would be to help other homeless people. Wow. Great wishes. I'm serious, I'm so serious. If I could just help in any kind of way that I possibly can, I would, if I had it. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. I appreciate it.